This is Russ Mayo, the Motivation Mentor, and I am about ready to break out a whiteboard. Okay, now don't pan it because we're not going to draw circles, okay? You see this? It's not a circle. <laughs> All right, it could be a circle if it was actually round, but uh, my artwork is not my strong suit. What I'm going to talk to you about here is a your life. And your life uh, sort of represents this circle. And what we're going to talk about is in your job, what you do is you, you devote about so many hours a day to your job. Okay? We have so many hours a day that we devote to sleeping. And then we have so many hours a day, actually, a lot of time people don't even think about it, that they devote to commuting. You know, if you live in <coughs> metropolitan area, your commute could be an hour each way. So it just depends on where you live. Then, so you're talking about you have your job, your sleep, and your commute. And then we have all of this free time left to do anything we want to do. Okay, stop laughing. A lot of you are so busy. You're saying, what free time? But some people have their television time, whatever it is. You watch the news, you watch a program, whatever it is. Some people watch TV, okay? Now, this may or may not be you, but TV time, okay? Um, somewhere in there, we have meal time, okay? Now, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but somewhere in there, there's meal time, okay? So we gotta eat, that's, that's a big piece of it. And then we still have some, some time left. Now, uh, I'm a Christian. If you don't believe the way that I believe, that's, that's fine. However, I believe that uh, some of that time, you should have some spiritual time in there, whatever that is, you know? Whatever, whatever amount of time you put in for that. Now, there's still a little chunk of time here. You know, now is that devoted to your family? Is that devoted to your hobby, your recreation? And this is like day in and day out, just not your not your weekends, but your day in and day out. Okay. Now, what I propose to you is that my drawing here <laughs> is not a circle. Okay, it's a uh, an oval with some really bad lines here, but uh, think of it as a wagon wheel. Think of it as a wagon wheel. And if we don't get some of these in balance so that they all are pretty even, uh, now I realize you have work and you have sleep, which takes up a large part of your time, but if you don't have these areas in your life evened out or balanced, you're going to have a wheel that goes plop, 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 that doesn't go even. So my suggestion to you is to look at your time and where you're putting your efforts and to balance that out. And you should have a balance between family, um, your spiritual life, uh, your work, and your, your free time and your enjoyment. You have to balance those out. And if you're one of those guys that just works, 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 and you got to get the job done because you got to take care of your family and your work hours are, you know, way out of proportion here, then you may be bringing in the income, but your family time is going to suffer. Okay? Um, now, what if you're one of those people that um, have been laid off or not working? Okay. So you have all kinds of family time or you have all kinds of time on your hands, but putting the bread and butter on the table you're, you're, is going to be out of balance, right? So my whole suggestion here with this video is just saying you need to get your life in balance and take a look at the big picture of what you're doing and how can you balance it out. So stay tuned for more videos on how we can balance this out a, a little bit better. This is Russ Mayo, the Motivation Mentor, saying have a great day.